Hello friends, welcome to my channel or welcome back if you're returning. My name is Sarah, your friendly neighborhood word nerd, and on this channel we like to focus on budgeting, books, and whatever else comes to mind. Today we're going to be going over this week in books, what I've read, what I picked up from the library, all the good stuff. So let's get started. We're also going to do a little chit chat because why not? Now we're going to start with the books that I actually read this week. Um, Born to be Hanged, the epic story of the gentleman pioneer, or sorry, pioneers, gentlemen pirates who raided the South Seas, rescued a princess, and stole a fortune by Keith Thompson. Um, that's a little bit of a misnomer, to be honest. The title, it's, I mean, it is a pirate adventure. It really is. And the the writing is very engaging. The chapters are very short, um, which doesn't sound like a big deal, but it can be if you're reading at night and you want a good stopping point. So you want something to read before bed or whatever. This is actually a really good option. Um, like I said, the writing is very engaging. It's very descriptive. Um, there is a large cast of characters, but it's kind of hard to get them mixed up. So that's really good. The hardest part is kind of picturing where they are because it's covering this is South America and this is their route. <laughs> it's, yeah, you can see it's a little, um, a little insane. And then, and here you have the is, it mess, it is this mess. I don't know how to pronounce that word of Darien and they spend a lot of time in this area in the Bay of Panama and the South Sea. So it's kind of hard to kind of picture where they are. Most of the time they're just up and down the west coast of South America. So that's like the hardest part about the book, which is not that big of a deal. Um, let me grab my lovely reading journal. Let's see, reading journal. Yeah. Um, I did give this one four stars. So it's my fourth book of, or sorry, third book of the year to be read. Um, let's see. See, it's also, I, I have read four books so far because the next one is a graphic novel. So basically in my reviews for the, for the year, um, what I discovered was, okay, so fun fact, sorry, I keep pounding on this. <laughs> I tend to like to drum on my books. Even when I'm reading them, I tend to, to be very tactile. So Born to be Hanged, fun fact, the College of William and Mary, which is in Virginia, and it's the second oldest um, university in the U.S. out after Harvard. Harvard is the oldest. College of William and Mary is the second. Um, but it was funded by three of the pirates in this book. Um, basically, they were caught pir pirating, pirateering, sure, whatever. They were caught um, in uh, Virginia and sent back to London, and they were granted amnesty as many pirates were, um, not all of them were hanged because many of them had a lot of vital information and they were talented sailors and they needed the, those skills, you know, legitimately needed the skills. So the government would grant amnesty when they saw fit. But what part of the plea bargain was sending $300 or 300 pounds to, um, the Virginia colony in order to establish a university there or a college there and the people who had given them the um the amnesty it was the queen king and queen so it was well king william and queen mary and the college was named after them so that's how william and mary came about anyway so i thought that was really cool it's one of those little factoids that sometimes comes up so it was founded on 300 pounds sent by pirates <laughs> it's fun so the second book that I finished, and I basically, I finished Born to be Hanged last night, and then I read this right afterwards. It's Chef's Kiss by Jarrett Melendez, Dan Danica Bryan, Hank Jones, and Hassan uh, Atsmain Elhau. Elhau, sure. Um, I'm really bad at reading names, I'm sorry. So this book is absolutely adorable. 
It's, um, it's gay romance and it's about a kid who I identify with a little too closely in that he has like a ridiculous book collection that's his room <laughs> and like his friends were making fun of him because you can see oh, I shouldn't bend that back you can see where it's his room um, and they were making fun of him because he kept bringing books like boxes and boxes of books into the new apartment and it's very funny there's a few meta moments very much like um, Scott Pilgrim if you've read that and it's basically a kid who really loves to read and he's trying to get a and loves to write and he's trying to get a job either as a copywriter a proofreader or a writer and he's unable to do so and he can't find anything because everyone requires experience and he ends up in a restaurant and working in a restaurant and it turns out he's very talented as a cook and his last name is cook so he's cook the cook so it works out really well it's an adorable fluffy read it's if you're new to graphic uh, graphic novels and you want to kind of get into one that's really easy, I would suggest this. It's not necessarily YA. Um, it's there aren't really significant adult themes or anything. It's just they are older. You know, they're they're in their um, early twenties, so everyone is in their twenties. So it's not really a young adult book. It's definitely a little bit older, but um, it's one to get for sure. Okay, so those are the books that I've been reading this week. I did peruse a couple of others, but I made the decision not to really talk about the ones I peruse because I can't really give a, a really knowledgeable review of a book I just perused. So in in a sense of fairness, I'm just, I the books that I decide I'm going to kind of flip through but not necessarily read, those ones I won't be talking about so much. So these are the two books that I picked up this week from the library. I still have a giant stack from last week to go through. So this is, um, this is just basically the last of the two, the two stragglers from last week. Um, where it took a little bit longer to have them come in and I just realized that both of the titles have to do with books <laughs> I swear that's not how I select my books, but sometimes they have a theme um, Book woman's daughter is the sequel to book woman of troublesome creek. I actually did this I, I read this book as an audiobook probably I want to say 2018 or 2019, I believe. Um, so this is the sequel. Obviously, it's about her daughter. I don't know anything other than that. Um, it's It takes place in Appalachia, and it's having to do with people who are blue. So I'm interested in, you know, reading the sequel. So if you've read the sequel, if you've read this book, if you've read the original, and you're interested in reading the sequel, um, and you want me to stop saying sequel, you know, leave a comment down below for sure. I want to hear what you guys have to say about these books. This one is Janelle Monet. So in case you didn't know, not only is she a, f a fabulous singer and a fantastic uh, actress, she is also an author. <laughs> is there anything that Janelle Monet can't do? Um, this is The Memory Librarian and Other Stirred Stories of Dirty Computer gonna be honest I bought it because it's Janelle Monet. Um, I'm interested to know what she writes about and how she writes because she is just she has a singular mind and I really appreciate that. So that's pretty much it when it comes to the books. Um, anything else going on this you know this week or, or what have you? I'm kind of I don't know I I'm kind of debating like I, I don't know if you saw my community post I, I said that I was looking at potentially um, uh, expanding my scope of the channel and what I things I, I talk about um, not so many of the hand videos but doing something some things like um, talking about movies, like my favorite movies, or, you know, watching movies for the first time, because there's a lot of movies that I've never seen, especially horror movies like Friday the 13th. I own it, and I've never seen it. So, 
yeah, but um, doing like first reactions and things like that. Um, if that's the kind of thing that you would be interested in, please leave a comment down below if there's anything else that you have ideas about that you would want to see me do videos on and things like that or you want somebody to try out like if there's a craft or um, cooking or <laughs> I don't know what else just you know ex experimenting with things and you want somebody else to do it before you do then you know leave a comment down below I'm really interested to find out what people want you know and and especially because I'm kind of at a little bit of loose ends here. Um, I can't do that many budgeting videos because I only get paid once a month. So it's not like I'm doing stuffings every week or every other week like you know most people do. I only have to do them once a month and that's kind of it. So uh, yeah, so I'm thinking about doing um, expanding things a little bit, maybe reverting the name of the channel back to Word Nerd. I, it's still early days. Um, I'm just not sure what I need to do to to get through, you know, to, to kind of have a channel that's successful and that's what people want to watch. Because let's face it, I'm doing it for the views. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's a form of expression. It's something fun to do. It's a great hobby. I enjoy it. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, if nobody's watching, then what's the point? So I'm I'm definitely doing it for the views and I want to know what you guys think and and you know any ideas that you have um is there a channel that you were like I really wish that there was a channel that did this and I can see what I can do cuz I'm open to it um I mean I'm not endless amounts of time because I am a grad student as well as working full time but I can definitely you know expand things out definitely. So enough rambling, enough chit chat. I guess I want to say thank you so much for being here. If you are subscribed, then you are absolutely awesome. If you're not subscribed, you're still absolutely awesome. But why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. It's completely free to you, but it helps me out a whole lot. And it helps the channel to grow and hit the algorithms just the way they should. Um, hit the like button if you so desire. Hit that notification bell. Do all the youtube -y things. You know, whatever. Um, but yeah, I want to say thank you for watching and I hope you have a good one. Bye-bye.